All right then folks, um, I'm just going to try uh, doing a, a little repair job on a scratch I've got on my bike. I'm um, using wet and dry uh, 1500 grit sandpaper. Um, I've got a nasty scratch here. Uh, let's see if I can focus on that. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty big scratch caused by uh, like uh, the actual bike barn I put it in and the wind blew it over and now it's uh, scratched it up. Um, I'll polish out what I could but this remains here and it just won't come off so I'm going to try and uh, sand it down with the uh, wet and uh, dry. So what I've done is I've put the sandpaper which is here in some hot water and some um, with some added a bit of detergent in there so it leaves it up a bit and makes it easier to uh, spread across the uh, surface on the paint and I'm going to clean up the surface and then try and get out the paint so see how it goes alright so I'm just going to get this sponge here I'm just going to clean up the surface so let's give it a quick wipe I've only cleaned it yesterday so it shouldn't be that dirty anyway make sure there's no dirt or anything on it back there and then I'm going to get the towel dry it off I've never done this before so it could go horribly wrong alright so that's all dry now and then we're going to get the uh, the um, sandpaper wrap it on the sponge and then uh, try doing it that way now I've got the uh, Sandpaper wrapped around the sponge there. It's still added a bit of wetness there. And I'm just gonna do this. You don't have to do it hard. That's what I've been told anyway. And then just do circular motions like that. And just try and get rid of the scratch. So I'm just gonna do this for a bit and then we'll see how it comes out. Okay, so after you've done a bit, you may uh, just uh, wipe it off and just see where you're up to. So it's it's getting there actually, it is coming out a bit. And we've got this haze, but we're going to polish that up afterwards um, and it should bring out the shine back. But we're going to keep on going until we can get rid of the whole scratch. Okay, so I've been at it for about three, five minutes now and the scratch is pretty much gone. Like You can't really see it. And now we've just got this uh, haze here because it's, you know, I don't know if you can see it because of the light, but it's taken off like the uh, lacquer, the paint. So we're going to try and polish that up. Um, I mean, you can still see a bit of the scratch, but I think after we've polished it, um, you, I don't know if you can see it on the picture, but um, it'll, I think it'll get rid of the majority of that. Um, so we're going to uh, just uh, give it a polish and we'll see where we get to. All right, so I'll show you what cloths I'm using. I've got a peach kind of a like a suede towel there, um, and I've uh, like a it's 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 not chamois leather, but oh well, it's this is like a microfiber but um, textured um, cloth, and this is just a plain microfiber cloth. So I've got um, the good old uh, teacup. I'm going to use that first, and then we've got some high gloss turtle wax as well. And then um, we'll try that out. So I'm going to use the uh, teacup first. All right, so I've got the teacup there just applied on there. And I'm just switch my hands over. And we're just going to rub it into the paint here, everywhere that we've gone over with that um, sandpaper. So I'm just going to go over pretty much everywhere around here. Just like that. And then we're going to let it dry and then buff it out and see what it's like. Alright, so the uh, tea cut's dried now, so I'm just going to wipe it all off with this, uh, uh, with the uh, microfiber texture cloth. Um, and we'll have a look at the results. Uh, wipe it all off here, because I've put some up here as well. Alright, now you can see there that. Oh shit, I dropped the fucking teacup. Look at that. Looks, oh fuck. Well, that sucks. Right, anyway, uh, as you can see, 
it's got rid of most of the haze there and it's brought the shine back out so a couple more goes with the tea cut and then finish it off with the car wax and uh, it should be looking a lot nicer right, so just using the, the wax now high gloss uh, turtle wax and uh, I've been using the peach cloth so I just rubbed some on there I've already put it on anyway and then I, I just uh, did it circular motion just like that and I put it all over there and let it dry and then wipe it off and that should bring the shine right back to the paint all right so the polish is dried now so I'm just gonna use my uh, peach cloth I'll use basically the other side of it and I'm just gonna wipe all the uh, polish off just like that I'll be kind of rough with it because it's uh, stuck on pretty hard again circular motions work out and there you go so the scratch is gone and the shine is back to the paint you can hardly tell anything was there so yeah, it's pretty good that. I'm pretty uh, chuffed with the, how that's turned out. Um, now, I've never done that before, so this is my first uh, job at doing it. Uh, one of my mates, uh, Steve Albertson, scanned, taught me about the trick. Um, this is everything I use. Uh, so, if you want to pick it up, Halford's wet and dry paper, 1500 grit. You can use finer ones, like 2000, what have you. It'll just take you long to do, but it's a bit safer, I suppose, if you've got really uh, thin paint. So, um, that's only 2 99 that. Uh, high gloss turtle wax and just some teacup and obviously some cloths so yeah I would definitely recommend it if you've got um, you know it's, you can't really do it if you've got a massive deep scratch but if you've got like a like say you, you scuffed it against something else like a pole or another car or another bike um, and the paint their paint's rubbed off on yours and it won't come out that's that's a good option for you alright so I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial and don't forget to subscribe